The most congruent aspect in surfing and snowboarding is the rail. The use of the rail, the rail line, the importance of the performance of the board. Whether you're surfing or snowboarding, you're always on one rail or the other. You know, the initiation of the rail is always the transition into your next move, your next line, your next direction. It relates so much to someone's style, their performance, their power. I mean, so much is generated from the rail on both surfing and snowboarding. And when I design surfboards and when I design snowboards, that's, that's probably 70% of my focus. And then the rest of the shape evolves around the rail shapes, from the camber to the rockers, nose shape, tail shape, it all relates to the rail shape. So that's always the, the first step in designing any type of my boards. <laughs>